I'm very excited. I purchased Overtone in Rose Gold. Rose Gold. And I love Rose Gold. <sighs> the thing that I've been afraid, I've had this actually for a couple of months. And the thing that I'm afraid of is that I will use this and it will not completely wash out, right? That it'll leave some kind of little residue. That's a big chance because gray hair is very porous. And if it's very porous, these direct pigments are not just around your cuticle, but goes inside because it's so porous. It absorbs a lot of things. Now, I never used overtone, but I heard that it washes off very quickly. But look at the gray hair. How beautiful. I really love natural gray hair. Really do. I know it's against my profession. It's against my salon. I know. But I really, really, really love natural gray hair. And the length that she has, it takes a long time to let your natural gray go outside on that length. Plus, it's not all the same color. So the one string will absorb more than another string. In my hair that has to be grown out just like hair dye. Now I've had a few of you tell me that this does completely wash out. So I'm gonna trust you and hope that that's the case. This color may look really silly on me, I have no idea. It looks really pretty on their website, but when you open it up, the color looks orange. But on the website, it's not natural gray hair and there's highlighting in her hair. So you have that really copper shade in her hair. Yes, it washes off on natural hair, but if you do it on bleached hair, I'm not so sure if that washes off, maybe eventually, but not like natural hair. And on gray hair, you will still see some residues. <laughs> I guess it must. Mm. Oh, I love the smell. It's so like minty, delicious. Anyways, I guess this must kind of like react with the silver hair, hopefully and hopefully it will not look this color because <laughs> this is kind of a, a little bit scary. React? How, how do you mean react with natural gray? It's just a pigment that goes around your hair. It's not that they are, they are changing your natural pigment, but you don't have natural pigments anymore. It's an empty tube. Your follicle has not produced any pigment anymore. But I am going to do this with you. And you know what? I thought to myself, at first I was gonna do like a little patch of hair and then, you know, test the waters and kind of see, but I'm like, no, that's not me. I'm like, go big or go home. <laughs> so we're gonna do it today. We are going to dye my hair today rose gold. Yay! A strand test is always so important. If you do that in the back, then you would see that it's not a good idea, you are regretting it, and you say, well, nobody's seeing it, and I will leave it that way. But if, you, if, if the color is not coming out of your gray hair, you will have to color it to cover it up, and then you are again many months away from the complete natural color. I'm not saying colored hair does not suit you, I'm not saying that. Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh, <laughs> I'm just like so apprehensive right now. I'm asking the same thing. What are you doing? Look at the back, it's so dark and that will be another color. That will be like brown copper. But in the front, hmm. And when it's uneven porous, it will be very uneven. Some strings will attach, some not. Now I look like one of those dolls. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know. I'm sure, I've, I'm sure I've missed something. I've tried my best to get this whole head of hair. I have used an entire tub of this stuff and I may as well just use the rest of it. Oh my God. So it says wait 10 to 15 minutes. So I think I'm just gonna wait for 
15 minutes. I don't know what time it is right now, but I'm gonna wait for 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to use some maybe lemon juice or something like that to clean my fingers. Look at them, ooh, gross. And I'll see you in a little bit. Hey ladies, so I'm really freaking out right now. I can see the little bit of pink that's peeking through, but I haven't looked at my hair yet because I just put the towel on and I waited to do the reveal with you. So I, I don't know what I was thinking. I'm honestly really scared. Here we go. Ha 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 ha. And I hope that this washes out. I don't know why I'm saying, oh, I don't know what, oh, I don't know. Oh, this is so not me, but I don't know. This is really, really, really bad. You see, the pieces that were not so gray are darker. So that's normal. But in the front, where it was really, really, really gray, that orange has turned into pink because it's an empty tube. And the one string, let's wait until it's dry, but the one string will be more covered than other. It will be very patchy. Overtone is not made to put on natural gray hair. I, I guess not, but direct pigments are not. So weird. Just different, I guess. Different. This is like honest reaction right now. Like I don't, I'm like speechless. I don't know what to say because my hair has been silver for so long. Strand tests. Does not sound crazy, eh? Go bigger or go home? No, that's not me. I'm like, go big or go home. <laughs> All right, so my hair is still pretty wet right now and I just finished scrunching it and then just kind of putting some clips in. And I gotta be honest with you, I am not digging this color whatsoever. Like it is really, really pink. And patchy. See, there's a little bit of natural light here and you can see just how pink it is. And then there's like still kind of the gray in here. I just, uh, what have I done? I just want this out now. Go big or go home. <sighs> I went to the shower and I shampooed my hair like four times. And I've got a bright light on me right now so that you can see this. And I don't know, like how long, I don't know if this is, gonna, I don't know. It's already much lighter, but like I said, the last pigments, there are some pigments that are really penetrated in your hair because gray hair is so porous. In natural hair, you don't have that. And a bleach wash is not the solution. You will lift your natural dark hair and that will turn orange. So that is not the thing that you can do here. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I really feel stupid. Yeah, you made a mistake. You know what I think is upsetting me? I think it's because of the time it takes to grow out your gray hair. Like it's just so much work. And you know what? I think I'm overthinking things like who really cares? It's just hair, right? No, 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 no. So many people, even in the comments, are always saying, grow up, it's just hair. That's not true. It's not just hair. I know, look at me. When, I, when my hair was falling out, I was like, well, I don't care. But the moment I had to get rid of all my hair was not fun. It's, it's like a new you. And for now, she has the same problem. You have a new identity and you don't like it. If you like it, well, it's something happy. It's something good. It's good for your confidence. But if you're not happy about it, it hurts. It's really, yes, it's not just hair. Yes, it grows back and yeah, there are more bad things in life. I know, I know, I know. But for your confidence, that's really important. 
I went out and purchased vitamin C tablets. I couldn't find any powder, but I got tablets and then I crushed them in a um, mortar and pestle. And then I've got dish soap, I've got shampoo, and I'm using my Ultra Swim shampoo. Every time I see that kind of mixtures, I'm cringing. But now that you don't have the possibility of do bleach wash, otherwise your natural dark hair between the gray will turn orange. I think this is a possibility to do this mixture. You see, it's not always bad, these mixtures. Now you don't have any choice. Your gray hair will get more porous because this soap, the pH of this soap is, is really bad. So it's, it's all very, your hair will be more porous. That's for sure. But maybe this will get rid of the pink. I'm not sure. But in this case, I would say, let's try this. Even with baking soda, I would say, let's do it. And they say to try to use like shampoo with sulfates in it because I guess that helps get the color in a little bit more too. Um, I'm using baking soda and then I'm using dish soap. So, hey, vitamin C, baking soda, dish soap, throw it on. I used five and a half teaspoons of crushed powder, like of the vitamin C powder. And then I used a quarter cup of everything else, the four other things. So it's this really frothy, foamy, mixture that you can see here in the bowl and it smells good it smells like shampoo so i'm going to mix it it's, i'm going to make a little bit of a mess right now but i'm going to put it on my head and i'm just going to scrub it into my hair so i just completed another round of this solution and um i'm really like i'm like on the verge of tears right now i feel really upset it's such a ugly color and it, it's, it's faded a lot, but. It did, it did fade a lot. Maybe do it again, maybe do it a few times and then maybe you have the natural, of course, it will not be your natural gray, but if the most of the pink tint is out of your head, you can let it grow out. Maybe use silver shampoo. Whoa, -ho! whoa, -ho! I'm happy here with Baking soda, silver shampoo. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Am I changed? No, but this is an exception. It's still, it's still got pink and I just, I feel really, <laughs> really sad. <sighs> so nothing seemed to work and I was left with this little yellowy tinge to my hair and I just thought, okay, well, I'm gonna leave it and you know, kept doing everything that I was doing. But I did notice that when I was using heating tools that my hair was turning sort of like a dingy brownish color. And I know that Lisa from Beauty 101, she had this exact same effect. And since then I've had people say to me like, oh, I think it was like the vitamin C treatment that you did that can cause, you know, reactions or whatever. But I'm not sure. I think it was just like a combination of all the junk that I was putting into my hair. So then all of a sudden I wake up one morning and my hair is pink again. Like I'm not kidding, I don't even know what happened. It was overnight and I was with my friends and I literally woke up in the morning and I said, is my hair pink? Yeah, but it was like gray pink. But hey, I really like the color that you have now. I really do. Who colored it? They did an amazing job. Like, does this look, like I thought I was going crazy. I'm like, I think I'm starting to see things. <laughs> and I asked my friends and they're like, no, your hair is pink. At that point I tried using color oops and tried to get rid of the pink, that worked. And again, just back to that kind of dingy yellow. So I posted a video on here when I finally came back to let you know why I ended up coloring my hair and I'll post that link ahead, but again, it just, you know, it was the pandemic. I was feeling kind of crummy about everything. And uh, I just, I missed my silver hair and I didn't want to do the whole grow it again for four years, so. Well, let's all find out. Let's all go to her channel and see that color transformation. But let me say the gray hair was beautiful on you. You didn't have to use the overtone, but the color you have now 
is equally beautiful. It's not too dark. Your skin tone is really beautiful with that color. Press one of these videos to see more hair fails and hair tips. Have you learned from this video? Have you been entertained by this video? Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Press that notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on TikTok. All I'm going to say today is... Ciao, cuz.